So I wanted to take the opportunity while on vacation here in beautiful sunny Jamaica to go over the difference in approach as it varies between indoor court and outdoor on sand because I know a lot of you guys are indoor and outdoor uh, beach volleyball players. So I think the, the biggest glaring difference is how do we carry speed through the approach? Indoor, we have a lot of friction. We have a lot of traction with rubber soled shoes on either hardwood or some sort of sport floor. Outdoor, we're dealing with this kind of loosely assembled ground here, the sand. Um, indoor IQ push, right? Which is that big, aggressive, long push through the penultimate and a nice, quick, hard block through your takeoff. The problem is, is if we try to do that on the sand, what you're gonna notice right away as we load up that loading leg and push is that we displace too much of the ground away from us. <clears throat> so our penultimate stride here, it's funny enough, is going to be the opposite and kind of what I teach not to do indoor, which is that gallop technique. Uh, so in order to be able to practice something like this on an outdoor surface, what we're gonna do is stand up nice and tall. For me, again, you guys know that I'm a right-left plant, so that means that I'm pushing from my left foot into my right foot. Because I can't do that big aggressive push, we're gonna do a little bit more of a gallop, and because I'm a speed jumper, it's gonna be a quicker load off the sand here. So nice and tall, I'm gonna load that up. We're gonna take a big hop, and up and catch. Now, if you are a power jumper, and this is important for you guys to understand the difference between a speed and a power jumper. Indoor, if you spend a little bit more time on the ground, meaning that your loading sequence to your jump or your amortization is a little bit deeper, it's pretty safe to say that you utilize a little bit more of that relative power versus myself. If we take a look at some of my jumps and a lot of the ones I post on here where you get very minimal knee bend and a little bit more transition of that speed, then you're gonna be a speed jumper. Speed jumper off of sand is not really the best combination. So what we wanna do is really utilize the stretch reflex of the muscle to our benefit. So again, we're nice and tall, we're gonna load. You're gonna notice that I load this jump quick and I explode the jump quick as well. So we're nice and tall here. We're gonna pop in and then we're gonna hit that landing position. So it's, it's funny enough how we carry over a lot of the same principles from indoor to outdoor. The only difference is we're loading this with a little bit different speed transition. And I think that's the biggest glaring difference is how do we maximize the utilization of speed, both indoor and outdoor. In this instance, it's gonna be relying a little bit more heavily on the stretch reflex of the muscle. So training correspondence is gonna be probably a little bit more focus and intensity into kind of that absolute power um, area where you're gonna be doing a little bit more deep heavier squats and just heavier weight in general so we can get ourselves out of that pocket or out of that bucket a little bit more effectively. So we just had a lot more start up here guys. I'm gonna have to kind of cap this pretty quick. But take homes, you guys want, uh, check the description below and uh, keep obviously making sure that you check out the videos weekly. Subscribe, hit the like button, all that good stuff. But we'll catch you soon. I'll probably do another video. It's too beautiful here not to. We'll catch you guys soon.